Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. This is today's video. It's Saturday, and on uh, Saturdays, I do what I call Seller Saturday, where I actually drink something off the shelves behind me. Uh, so this is, I, I had a couple people, you know, like during Bourbon County season, uh, were like, hey, you should do like, you know, Saturday videos of, of some of the ones that I see, you know, in the background. But I was like, oh, it's December, I'm trying to do some Christmas beers. So now that's the new year, uh, I will try to throw in a little bit more of the Bourbon County stuff into these Cellar Saturdays. Uh, no official policy, but I, I will try to do some more. Plus, I want to drink some of them down, if I'm being honest. All right, so this is Carmella. I almost grabbed a different brewery's wheat wine, um, uh, Breakside, which I don't know if you can quite see. Uh, and they're like, no, no, no. Do a Bourbon County. You got a couple wheat wines. You're in the mood for it. And then I saw I had two of these. I'm like, yeah, might as well do one of these. So it's 2020, so it's a little over two years, probably like two and a half years from bottling date. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a wheat wine aged in bourbon barrels with apple, cinnamon, and my favorite, natural caramel flavor. Uh, so I'm going to assume the way it's written that the apple and the cinnamon are real and the uh, only the caramel is natural flavoring. Uh, it was in a Larceny, or in Larceny barrels. Uh, it says ages up to five years. It is 14.6% ABV, proper glassware, so you know it's gonna taste better. I wonder where I got that expression from. Uh, I will be nursing this, hence the stopper. All right, so looks the part for sure. It, it, there's a little red in there, but it's like a, a brown light cola color you know what it reminds me of is uh speaking of soda like a cream ale kind of color um good carbonation you can see it pretty easily you know you can see through it not a lot of head i'm not surprised by that i also didn't pour part particularly aggressive uh some nice legs not a lot of lacing but again not surprising because there's not a lot of head on it definitely looks like a big wheat wine uh, let's get into the aroma well, it still smells fantastic. I, I should have said this. I liked this beer fresh. I'm kind of curious how much the adjuncts are still there two years, well, two and a half years out. Um, you do get a lot of caramel, but like the level and how it smells, you could easily get from a wheat wine aged in barrels. Um, so I don't know how much is that. I don't know how much is the, the natural flavoring. So that's the first thing I get is caramel. Uh, sweet, uh, a little bit of toffee even. Then it goes into this apple, not quite cinnamon for me, but definitely apple-y, uh, but it's sweet apple, like confectionery apple, you know, baked in something. But I, I'm trying to think of something that you bake, because it's not quite applesauce, but I'm trying to think of like an apple thing that you bake that you don't add cinnamon to, you know? But it is like sweet apple baked good just not with cinnamon added. And again, I know there's cinnamon in this, but I'm not getting it in the aroma. A little vanilla. Little, okay, there's a spirit. Uh, I'm not getting barrel specifically, although I did get some of that vanilla, but uh, I'm definitely getting some nice spirit mixed in. So like it, well, hey, it smells really good. Like just like, I'm, I'm, I don't want to undersell it. It smells fantastic actually, but um, it, it's kind of like, it smells like the adjuncts without the cinnamon is like the quickest way of saying this. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. I do get a little bit of cinnamon on the taste though. But yeah, not much. Uh, I've said this in many videos. I think cinnamon can easily be overdone in beers. Um, and again, this has some age on it for the cinnamon to have fallen off and or died down, you know. Um, not a ton. Ooh, good warming in the chest. That just hit me. Um, great flavor. You get some apple. Uh, fairly real apple. Like right now, I kind of have almost um, like you ate an apple and there's like a little bit of that lingering taste where it doesn't taste exactly like the bite of apple. It kind of morphs into that different aftertaste. Um, even in beer form, it's kind of doing that thing. Some nice sweetness there, caramelized sugars for sure, dates for sure, um, in the sip too, but definitely still lingering in this aftertaste. Now that's on my palate, I get a little bit more cinnamon. I really wasn't getting any cinnamon before, so 
maybe a combination of I'm tasting some cinnamon is making me get that easier or it's just tricking my brain into getting it or it's warmed up and opened up enough that I'm getting it, whatever. Probably because it's on my palate. Mm. And that cinnamon is so warm. It's not hot. It's such a warming spice in this. And again, not much of it. Man, I just got hit with this apple cider thing too. But yeah, I mean, it just, it's a lot like the aroma. It, it's It's got the barrel. I'm sorry, I got the spirit. I don't get a lot of barrel, either one, aroma or taste. But I get a nice, um, like, bourbon-y... But like, there's a little bit more sweetness to it, which I think is a larceny. Um, and then, cause I actually ended up buying a bottle. Were these also larceny barrels? Yeah. Um, I, it was after, yeah, it was 2019, I think it was, that I got, uh, I ended up just going and buying, I'm like, well, I want to see what the spirit tastes like. Uh, and then, yeah, the other 2018 does not say larceny on it. So yeah, it must have been after 2019, I went to the liquor store and bought a bottle of larceny just to see what it tastes like. Anyway. I remember it being a little sweeter, and I'm, I'm getting that in this beer. Plus, there's it's a wheat one, which is sweet, you know, and all that. Also, but anyway, back on track, dude. Um, although it's you're probably watching this on a Saturday, so you have free time, so it's okay that this is going to be long. Um, no, but anyway, it, it very much like I was saying about the aroma. The the super short. If I was going to make like a thirty second short instead of this long form video, um, it follows the adjuncts quite a bit. Um, you get what you think a wheat wine should, or at least what I think a wheat wine should taste like. So like that comes through. But then you're getting the apple, the cinnamon, less than I remember, especially the cinnamon than fresh, but you're still getting them. Um, the caramel thing could be the natural flavors, like I was saying, could be the barrel and the base beer itself, a combination of these three and some sort of uh, uh, well, combo. Um, ratio is what I meant to say. Um, you know, the date thing, but, that, but I think dates and caramel can be so similar in flavors. So I'm not going to say it's the most complex beer is what I'm getting to. But if you like all the things that you know this beer is made up of, it delivers, even after two and a half years. And I, I want a beer that tastes delicious, period. But then sometimes I'm like, well, the beer should taste like what it's saying it is. You know, and sometimes I go back and forth like I don't really care about that. I just want it to taste good. This tastes good and you're getting what it's advertised as win-win. Again, the short version. I'm always giving you the long version and then saying the short version is this. Um, but I don't do short videos as people like to point out to me. And then other people tell me I should make longer videos. So I make this length of video and make both sides unhappy. And that's America. <sighs> Hint of char. There's a new note for you. All right. Have you had this beer ever? Have you had this beer lately? Have you had a nice wheat wine lately? Barrel aged or not? Um, are you downing some nice natural caramel flavoring? Anything, everything, comment section below. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. And did I say that first part wrong? I don't think so. Anyway, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.